the countdown to kickoff is on. We're now just 25 days away from Super Bowl 52 here in Minneapolis. That means making sure U.S. Bank Stadium is ready for thousands of football fans. Three weeks out and construction crews are assembling a giant entryway at the Commons. And eventually it will be an entry point into the stadium. There will reportedly be some heated tents with walk-through metal detectors. Much of the area will be blocked off ahead of the game day to help secure the stadium. Now, many of the Super Bowl events are, of course, taking place outside. And while a lot of people are worried about the cold, the visitors, others are embracing <laughs> the feel of the bold north as a point of pride. We will defend the north. Now it seems like everyone from the Vikings to the Timberwolves are drawing from the North Appeal. The theme of the big game is, of course, the bold North, a term inspired by Eric Dayton. Esme Murphy spoke to the serial entrepreneur who continues to merge his passion of climate change with his growing business. Interesting, Esme. Well, that's right. I can tell you this. Long gone are the days when Eric Dayton was primarily known for being Governor Mark Dayton's son. This week alone, the 37-year-old businessman is rolling out a new partnership with Target, as well as a new initiative for his businesses, focusing on fighting climate change. The limited edition line of North labeled products will be in select Target stores Sunday. The lookbook models include Zach Parisi and former Vikings and team broadcaster Ben Lieber and his children. The Target line is modeled after the line of hats and other North products that debuted in 2013 at Asco Finlayson, the North Loop store founded by Eric Dayton and his brother Andrew in 2011. You know, it's just a chance to, to show our pride to tell this to tell this North story to the rest of the country, the rest of the world. And it's a chance to partner with Target, which was founded in 1962 by Dayton's grandfather and his brothers. For me, given my family's history there, it was all the more meaningful. Dayton is thrilled that the North label is suddenly everywhere. To see it, you know, popping up you know, with the Super Bowl and with professional Custom sports teams certainly exceeded our initial expectations of what this could become. ASCO Finlayson announced earlier this week the business will be calculating the cost of their carbon footprint and donating 110 percent of that number to climate change causes. 110 percent every year to support innovation, to keep the North cold. Dayton's advocacy for all things winter even prompted the Star Tribune to feature him on a recent magazine cover calling him the king of cold. I'm getting sick of me. I can only imagine how everyone else uh, how everyone else feels, but you know, this is this isn't about me. This is this is really, as, as I said, this has really become a movement. A movement Eric and his wife Cornelia are already passing on to their sons, Hugo, four, and George, who is almost one. To see winter now through the eyes of a four-year-old and to kind of rediscover that childhood joy of, of winter is is just a lot of fun to see. Now, the Target Askoff Finlayson launch will be celebrated this Sunday at Theodore Worth Park with an event for the public that will include free tubing, dog sledding, and life-size bubble hockey. We have a link to that event on our website. And as part of this partnership with Target and Asco Finlayson, they will also provide grants to a local nonprofit that will allow low-income kids to experience winter activities. Wow, we're really going to show off. Absolutely, yes. And, and that party Sunday yeah. will be before the Viking game, 11 to 3 at Theodore Park. Because no one would go if it wasn't. Well, possibly, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you, Esme. Yeah.